Hi, I'm Travis Hollins, Yamaha's ATV Product Planning Manager, and we're out here at Woodchester Bay, Oregon to introduce the new 2015 Raptor 700R. What's made the Raptor 700R the best-selling sport ATV over the years is its great combination of power, lightweight, handling, and suspension. Uh, all of these features combined really create a, an amazingly balanced machine. For 2015, we're actually able to increase the overall power by 10%. In order to get that 10% increase in power, we did several things. The first is we increased the compression ratio. Now we have a 10.0 to 1 ratio. We also incorporated new cam profiles, uh, fuel injection setting, counterbalancers, a new exhaust system. Uh, all of these contribute to increasing that overall power by 10% while still keeping the same power character that the Raptor is so well known for. With increased power, you want to make sure that you don't sacrifice the overall handling. So we focused in on making sure that we're able to maintain that great handling characteristic that the Raptor is known for, along with that increase in power. So we addressed the front tire. We actually went to a larger 22-inch front tire. We changed the construction of it. The sidewall's a little bit stiffer. The profile's a little bit flatter. That maintains the overall handling characteristic, but also increases the comfort. Next, we took the suspension and we matched the suspension to that tire and the power and the overall feel of the Raptor. The Raptor's rear shock received five millimeters more spring preload, plus slightly stiffer compression and rebound damping. The front shocks received a bit more attention. Travel was increased two millimeters. The dual rate springs feature a slightly stiffer spring rate throughout both stages. Compression damping was slightly reduced in the first part of the stroke and rebound damping was decreased. So it's really this machine that, that does it all. You can hammer through the whoops, you can hammer up the hill, uh, you know, carves the corners, really does all of those extremely well. Uh, and that's really what it's all about. And for 2015, we wanted to make sure we kept all of those saving grade features, um, but just bring it one notch higher. And we're doing all of that at the same price as last year's model. When it comes to hitting the dunes, the Raptor 700 has never disappointed. There's ample power for conquering the tallest, steepest dunes, the suspension and agility to rage on whooped out trails, and the comfort to do it all day long. The first time we underestimated the steepness of a dune was the first time we really appreciated the 10% increase in power. Grabbing a handful of throttle, the 700 felt unstoppable as it chugged its way to the top of the hill and rapidly began picking up speed. The extra power was also noticeable in the mid-range, racing through the high banked turns of the deep sandy trails. Lean back, crack the throttle wide open and forget about the clutch, or the possibility of overwhelming the engine with fuel. The bottom end and mid-range power benefited most from this year's extra horsepower, and the fuel injection system remains flawless once the engine has a chance to warm up completely. Yamaha's new suspension settings felt similar to our 2014 shocks after we'd spent a few hours dialing them in. Softening the initial compression and stiffening the springs helped keep the front end from feeling harsher over chatter, in spite of the front tire's flatter profile. The combination of the flatter profile front tires and stiffer springs may have mildly reduced front end roll, both in the shocks and in the tires. This should be even more pronounced on hard dirt. The rear shock feels flawless on small and large hits. Our 225 pound test rider, while admittedly a little larger than average, felt that the rear end sometimes stepped out in deep whoops. With a very adjustable rear shock, backing out a couple of clicks on the rear shock's rebound damping to speed it up is all that's needed to get the rear end tracking beautifully. Handling the big 700 remains quick and aggressive. There's just a hint of twitchiness at high speeds. However, that's the price you pay for super responsive steering in the tight stuff. As a machine that will see everything from tight woods to high speed wide open fields, we think that Yamaha continues to hit the mark, blending quick cornering manners with good high speed stability. Braking performance is among the very best on any sport ATV, thanks to dual piston caliper equipped hydraulic disc brakes front and rear. Both ends offer tremendous power and excellent feel. Over the years, the Raptor has proven itself to be a very reliable machine. The engine produces its best power low enough in the RPM range that there's no need to spin the engine apart, rubbing the guts out of it. Easy to maintain features like toolless air filter removal, a round housing chain adjustment system, and grease fittings throughout the chassis allow you to spend more time on the trail and less time in the garage. 
the Raptor 700R's dominance in the open class and throughout the entire sporty TV market are a testament to the machine's outstanding performance. We think it is perhaps the best all-around sporty TV ever produced. This year's subtle improvements in handling and 10% horsepower increase have made arguably the best even better. Our favorite thing about this year's model is that the extra power has taken nothing away from the machine's wider friendly power delivery. It comes without the additional noise of adding an aftermarket exhaust system. Faster, cleaner, and just as quiet, that's a surefire recipe for the long-term survival of the sport. If you've been thinking about stepping up to the Raptor 700R, Yamaha has given you 10% more reason to do it. If you haven't noticed, it's a model we highly endorse and recommend. For more information on the 2015 Yamaha Raptor 700R and their full line of ATVs and side-by-sides, log on to Yamaha-Motor.com.